Hi everyone and welcome to early morning prayer requests and devotions. I hope everybody's okay this morning. On our prayer request, pray for Camille's son, John. He's had heart attacks frequently and they performed surgery on him, but it's not working. Pray he'll get better. Pray for Kathy Daly's sister. She's very sick. Kathy is home from the hospital. Uh, her migraine is better, but she's worn out. Miss Southern Bell asks for prayers that everyone will know Jesus and have a joyful Christmas. Lisa's grandson is coming out of ICU and is doing better. He has to have surgery, but he'll be okay. Pray for everyone in Kentucky and other parts that were affected by the tornadoes. Diana asks for prayer for numerous members of her church that have COVID. Many are older and she's worried. Kathy's mom was at the ER with blood sugar of 682. Pray that she'll be okay. And I'll see if I can get an update on her later. All right, our scripture of the day comes from Psalm 119, 105 through 112. Your word is a lamp for my feet, a light on my path. I have taken an oath and confirmed it, that I will follow you, your righteous laws. I have suffered much. Preserve my life, Lord, according to your word. Accept, Lord, the willing praise of my mouth, and teach me your laws. Though I consist constantly take my life in my hands, I will not forget your law. The wicked have set a snare for me, but I have not strayed from your precepts. precepts. Your statutes are my heritage forever they are the joy of my heart my heart is set on keeping your decrees to the very end Amen. all right and our devotion today is entitled god's compass during world war ii waldemir semenov was serving as a junior engineer aboard the ss alcoa guide when nearly 300 miles off the coast of North Carolina, a German submarine surfaced and opened fire on the ship. The ship was hit, caught fire, and began to sink. Semenov and his crew lowered a lifeboat into the water and used the vessel's compass to sail towards the shipping lanes. After three days, a patrol plane spotted their lifeboat, and the USS Broom rescued the men the next day. Thanks to that compass, Semenov and 26 other crew members were saved. The psalmist reminded God people that were equipped with a compass for life, the Bible. He compared scripture to a lamp. That provides light to illuminate the path of life for those pursuing God. When the psalmist was adrift in the chaotic waters of life, he knew God could use scripture to provide spiritual longitude and latitude and help him survive. Thus he prayed that God would send out his light to direct him in life and bring him safely to the port of his holy presence. As believers in Jesus, when we lose our way, God can guide us by the Holy Spirit and by the di direction found in the scriptures. May God transform our hearts and minds as we read the Bible, study it, and follow its wisdom. How have you experienced a particular verse or passage as a compass for your life in recent days? When are you tempted not to follow the direction the compass of Scripture gives? Jesus, thank you that when I'm tempted to drift away, the wisdom of Scripture helps bring me back. And Lord, I want to pray today for everyone on our prayer list. Please help all of them with their different needs and help anyone out there that's been affected by the virus. In the Lord's name I pray. Amen. I hope you all enjoyed this early morning prayer request and devotions. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. And share this out today. Let's get the word out to everyone. All right, thank you for watching so much, everyone, and I'll be seeing you later on on Morning Coffee Break. Bye, everyone, and God bless.